Right, so we just got back home and Brian has given me another monitor to uh, have a look at. First impressions are that this one's in better mechanical condition than the other one. Uh, although the knob is missing for the contrast, um, that's, that's not a big issue and obviously the wrong screws are in place that hold the screen protector in place, but that's not an issue. Um, it does look a little less battered than the other one, so it may be a case of making um, the best one out of the two uh, if this one's in working condition. The priority being getting um, at least one of the two working. The other one's got an EHT problem at the moment and is mechanically more battered than this one with lots of dents and the chassis twisted. Uh, this one is as grubby inside. I've just taken off the screws from the back which were incidentally missing on the other one. Um, these are seized but we know from experience that they can be freed with some uh, switch cleaner. Evidence of a bit more corrosion than I would like to have seen from the other one but it is actually just brushing off there so it may just be a um, surface issue. The usual amount of dirt, which we're going to hoover out in a moment. Let's have a quick look around the other side. These covers are wash. Just hinge that one down as I've just slackened the screws off earlier. Take a look inside there. These capacitors are really quite filthy. Back of the tube there, interestingly, plastic packet. There's nothing in it. I wonder if this is a replacement tube. Let's give that a clean as well. It doesn't look too bad. Have a look in there. First step, hoover it out and brush it with a paintbrush. Do that tonight, I think. Right, so here we are. And after a lot of faffing around, we're going to try uh, and demonstrate that we have actually got a working power supply. We've got the, uh, the monitor rigged up and unfortunately I can't find my magic arm so I've got, not got a very good shot of the monitor. But we're going to see what happens when we turn the power on. I think we've just popped out the breaker, which it does from time to time. Or not, that's the case maybe. There we go. And a lot of distress sounds, not at all like yesterday, sadly. I'll try once more. And a lot of distress sounds from inside. What a shame. That was working fine yesterday. And I think we have some brown smoke. Oh dear. Definitely got brown smoke. This is working fine yesterday. Unbelievable, isn't it? <sighs> the curse of television. Well, so after that little disaster, which was the power supply that was actually working yesterday, uh, blew up this morning as soon as I turned it on. Um, which was a shame because I was using that power supply to sort out the good components from the bad components which is actually quite tricky because there's so many variables and it turned out that by substitu substitution which takes a very long time because of the fittings involved and the um, different sizes of the screw holes in some of the components discovered that these components were all faulty in various ways that caused the power supply to shut down and um, generally be um, unhappy. Only, only at the end of yesterday did I manage to get a combination of components that actually worked. And these beggars all turned out to be faulty. They caused arcing and sparking or in some cases completely shutting down the power supply. Um, 
which is a shame because um, it reduces the number of components to actually uh, swap in um, to eliminate the faults on this power supply because this one I also suspect has got um, faulty capacitors because this one runs for a while and then oscillates wildly in terms of the um, EHT and then just shuts down and cycles on and off which again points to uh, an overload caused by leaking in the capacitors but with a reduced number of spare parts my only alternative now is to take some out of the power supply that was working yesterday which has now failed this morning um, so I think I'm going to try that next in the hope of getting this power supply working in this monitor because this monitor has got the least faults on it um, it did produce a picture um, albeit running on half the normal EHT uh, whereas the other one doesn't produce any video but it does produce a raster so um, I think that's probably my, my next move to try and rescue this power supply.